know, we have this great story about this one young sister that, you know, started off as a janitor at her job. So this particular, you know, young sister was a janitor at a Massachusetts hospital and is now a nurse practitioner at the same medical center. So her name is Janice Adredis. If I'm saying it right, forgive me, sister, if you see this video. She posted on her Facebook about her 10 year journey as a custodian to registered nurse to nurse practitioner at Bay State Medical Center in Massachusetts. So she says 10 years of work, but it was all worth it. So I was provided at the same place I used to clean. Um, she stated that, you know, the first is labeled custodian, the second registered nurse, the third nurse practitioner, as you um, can see from, you know, the picture there. I mean, she was definitely started off on the journey. So when she was 19 years old, she was working at fast food and she got a call to interview for work at Bay State Health. You say, what well, she saw as a good idea. And she stated, say, even if it was cleaning, as long as I get to be near patient care, I was able to observe things. Um, she said, who always, she had a passion for helping people. So she began working as a custodian in 2010 and was responsible for cleaning operating rooms and urgent care unit while um, going through nursing school at Elms College in Chicopee, Massachusetts. So she said she was actually to um, interact with other nurses there. She got to see patients coming and going from the operating room. Um, she stated that it was her first time seeing what it was really like to be a nurse, so it really got her interest. So she graduated Elms College in 2014 with a bachelor's degree in nursing and was hired in 2015 uh, as a nurse at Mason Square Neighborhood Health Clinic. And there she met a nurse by the name of Gloria Wilson as who convinced her to pursue her doctorate in nursing at the time. And said, she said she was actually the one who convinced me to go to nurse practitioner school it said she was getting her master's degree and she saw me doing it. So she definitely persuaded me. Now the sister then studied to, for her doctor to work as an acute nurse at Bay State. It said she graduated early this year, but was unable to attend her graduation due to the COVID-19 pandemic. She now works as a nurse practitioner at Bay State in the trauma surgery. Now she said it wasn't a smooth ride. It wasn't an easy ride, but it got done. Now she is from Buffalo, New York. You know, she's native born to Puerto Rican parents. And obviously, you know, you can see from the picture, um, you know, Puerto Rico, you know, you have black people in Puerto Rico. Of course, we all over the world, obviously. Um, she says she hopes her journey inspire others. You say your life is what you make it. And that's true. Uh, that is true. You say, and if working towards your dreams and you believe in yourself, uh, saying you believe in your dream, doesn't matter the path, it isn't perfect. You know, that one thing she said that your life is what you make it because, you know, a lot of people, you know, think that even though we deal with issues and problems as black people, that we can't make something good out of our life. And you see like this young sister started off cleaning floors, mopping, you know, just uh, wiping down things. That's what she was doing. You know, before that she was working fast food, but she saw something and said, you know what? I want to become a nurse and I'm going to work hard to get there. Now, was it easy? No, but you know, th this is the thing, nothing worth having is going to be easy. I'm telling you, it's going to be many days that you're going to quit. It's going to be many days you're going to give up. It's going to be times you're going to see things that's happening to you. That isn't fair. Seeing people getting advantage, especially in this country, you are seeing the, the Mazungu getting advantage and they don't have to work as hard as we have to work. Black people have to be the smartest. And you have to work the hardest to get to anything you have. So when I see a black person get something, oh, I know they earned it because one thing America would never do is let a black person just slide on by not knowing nothing or not being thoroughly educated. When you hire a black person that has the education, trust me, you're getting a, a truly educated person because we don't get, you know, to do like what uh, Lori Lofton got to do and cheat to get into college and all that. You know, we, we don't get those kind of opportunities and neither do we want them. We, we want to work hard for everything that we get and earn. And you know, if, if this young sister can do it at 19, it, it doesn't matter what go on outside of, 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 of us. Like I said, you have to be determined to, to do something like me, for instance, I always wanted to build something. I knew that when I was working in fast food, I said, Oh, it's not a life for me. I saw the way they, you know, they, they want you to work 
And there's not enough money in that. You come home smelling full of grease. You're smelling all kinds. I mean, you know, it's just, when I work fast food, I said, this is not for me. I remember when I worked in uh, a grocery store, I worked at HEB one time. Those of you from Texas, you know about HEB. I was stocking groceries there. I said, uh, this is not for me too. I've worked in Walmart before. You know, I worked in Walmart for a few years actually. And it was cool. You know, I was overnight stocking, unloading the trucks and all of that. But I knew that's not nothing I want to do all my life. And I had one brother I talked to, I remember that job. And um, I was lifting something and he said, young man, stop what you're doing. I said, I said, what's going on? You know, and he said, listen, listen to me. He said, you always got to work smart, never work hard. And I'm looking behind and say, listen, people tell you all your life to work hard. They said, people that work hard all their life either have a broken body and nothing to show for it. He said, look at all these rich people. Do they actually work hard or do they work smart? Think about that. And that, young, and that brother, you know, he was an older brother, told me that a long time ago, and it stuck with me at the age of 19 about I need to work smart and not hard. And I refuse to work hard. I refuse to. I work smart. Because if I'm not working smart, then I'm... So by me having that mindset of working smart, that's why I start looking at, okay, what can I do to not only maximize my time, what can I do to get to where I need to be in my life to build something? Cause I'm not about to be up here championing in this. I'm going to work hard 60, 80 hours a week. And then look up the end of my life. I'm, I'm broken. I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I can't do nothing with myself. No, I say, no, uh-uh, refuse to. So, that young sister, you may have to start off doing a, a, a custodial job, but she was working smart. I'm going to get in this place. I'm going to mop these flows. I'm going to soak up game. I'm going to school. I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do to earn my money. And then she became that nurse. Okay. Then, then somebody else told her, hey, I think you're smart enough to become a nurse practitioner. Okay. She got the inspiration. She went and done that. And, and that's how we have to do it. Even though we deal with a lot of issues and problems with black people, we deal with racism, we deal with all the problems that we have. We are people that can overcome and people that can go through whatever. Don't ever allow no situation to make you think you can't do for yourself. We all as individuals responsible for ourselves. Okay, period. We all are responsible. Yes, issues are what they are, but we are individually responsible for ourselves. So if this sister can do it, I've done a lot of things in my you know, short amount of time living on the earth. I got a whole lot more I'm, I'm looking forward to do. I know you can do it as well because we need to you know, focus on what we can build. We can't be around people that's negative. We can't be around people that don't want to go anywhere. Don't hang around negative people. Don't hang around people that don't do nothing. Keep your circle with people that are similar to you. Like if you go into school, hang around people that go to school. If you're a person that's about your business and you know about your family, be around people that's around the, that's doing the same thing you're doing. You know, let, or anything, be around people that's higher than you in certain things, so it can you can challenge you. Because we we sometimes some of us you know look down on some things and 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 don't think that we can't make it. We can do a whole lot. If that sister can go from mopping the floor to nurse practitioner then many of you can do the exact same thing. All it's going to take is to drive the want to and the determination to make sure that you go through and succeed. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it, the story with this, you know, young sister. And, and I'm very proud of, of what she's done. I like to hear stories like this. Um, and let me know in the comments if you, you're right now working on, you know, your situation, you could be in school, you could be, you know, in a trade, you could be doing uh, something uh, that you're going to be just right at the door about to turn into a, a great business, a great career. Let us know.